one that made cover her cry. she hates and the I'm one that made her cry. I'm up for the crying. We're recording, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on a Page, and today I'm with my two best friends, Tia and Jenny. Hi. I'm making them do kind of how well do they know my reading? I don't know. I saw Books and Lala do this with her husband where he had to kind of guess these different categories that she put on post-its and choose which book they matched the best. So like for example, my top one is favorite book from school, so they have to choose which one they think fits that the best and place it on there. Now they can work together they, even though they have different colors. <laughs> Tia is green and Jenny is purple. Um, they're more than welcome to help each other. I'm not going to try to give them any answers, I might give some away, I'm pretty sure I gave one away earlier today, let's see if they remember, which they now do because I reminded them. Um, let's go ahead and get started, I hope that makes sense, it probably doesn't. Woo! So, since I said, first one is favorite book from school. So this is a book that I had to read for school, not just a book that I randomly read because of pleasure, like I had to read it for my English class. High school, middle school. Okay. So, looking at them, looking for an older book, which means I don't have any idea when most of these came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my God>. uh, <laughs> okay. And they're upside down. So. so, books that look like they could be books you read for school. Not a book you read for school? Not a book you read for school. <laughs> not a book you read Definitely for school. Definitely not. Not about you were hey, doing patrol. Hey, you don't know what school I went to. Actually, yes, you do. Yes, you do. And I, I know like, that I know. one would be one either. <laughs> <laughs> this didn't come out in time for school. That's too new. Um, so I'm gonna go for probably one of these two because I have no idea what the hell the uh, sorry is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's Question. late. We've been playing <laughs> games. Uh, Jenny and I've been up for a long time. We are tired. <laughs> Jenny will swear. It's Please fine. Please forgive me. I'm trying to like. All right, so I'm going to put my money on The Kite Runner because I actually know what that one's about. Okay. And it seems like a school book. I support your life choices. <laughs> <laughs> Next one is my favorite cover. I'm going to forget who was which color. Oh, the Braggy book. Oh, Her yeah. collector's edition Braggy go. book. <laughs> <laughs> No shade or anything. <laughs> she was showing it off earlier and talking about Repeatedly. how wonderful it was. We're not joking. She just loves it a lot. Just she was up. also telling us about the second book, which also has a collector's edition that she's super excited about. That so just came out. She's going to get it, apparently. We'll have to read the second book first. Oh, well, yeah, that is what but it's But she's going to get it. Probably. <laughs> Longest completed series. Now, this is a book that actually I've completed the entire series for. So even if there's another book up here that has a longer series... You have to have read the whole thing? I have to have read the entire series. Okay. So, no. No. <laughs> this is a single. I don't know. No. This is just a trilogy. I have no idea. I don't think... I think this is... She usually does shorter series, too. This one says season one, episode one, so I have mild concerns. That one might be kind of long, and I'm pretty sure this one's kind of long, too. Okay. But I binge read this one with Mary, and there's a lot in that one. Okay, so we're going to go for so that one. So I'm putting my money on that one. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Go team. So, this is the book I've read the most times. Where? Yep. Read <laughs> the most times. It's right here. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the first ones we bonded over because she was. <laughs> so my next one is my newest favorite book. So it's a book I've actually finished, and it's my newest favorite. So newer books that I know about is pretty much just this one because I'm currently borrowing it. <laughs> we don't read the same books at all. I mean, we haven't read. <laughs> and I'm pretty well, sure she read. just recently read this one, and I'm not sure about. I know these are not. I'm like anything newest. that's covered. This one's isn't old because I know she used to read Linda Howard a lot. And this one's got a cover on it, so that's old. And so if we go based on covers alone, we got this one. We got this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put my vote in for Red, White, and Royal. Uh, yeah. The next one is my OTP. My one sure is there. I can't even read upside down. Where is it? Here I know. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I'm not predictable. No, <laughs> we both don't know that really well. 
My next one is my least favorite cover. Mm. <laughs> Did we already talk? Is, is this? Is that? Do we? I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Are we still good? It? Okay. So it's not the suffocating it, it, It's not the ragey horse. We know it's <laughs> not the ragey horse. Um, oh, well, this one, no, I don't horse. This, one's, horse. this one's my book, and she better love it anyway. So is it? <laughs> so it's not this one because this cover doesn't stink enough. So, and I know she likes the traditional Tamora Pierce covers. I mean, this a cover only the literally art. has lacrosse sticks on it. So like, it's white it's with lacrosse sticks. <laughs> it's very like here. So maybe it's just. It's just a graphic novel. Maybe she doesn't like that. And then there's the creepy eye. There's the creepy eye. I I, I'm kind of torn between eyes. these three because okay, I'm gonna hope it's not Trickster's Choice because I just love that book and I would feel sad if it was the worst cover. So I'm gonna put my vote on creepy eye or lacrosse sticks. I feel like lacrosse sticks tells you nothing about the book. Also, while creepy eye at least tells you that it's gonna be creepy. <laughs> I know I reread. It's just the author I've read the most single titles of, not including rereads because I kind of forgot about those. Okay, oh. so single titles. So like, out of all of taken, and she's got a lot of books. What about Lackey? But these, she feel like. She, yeah, I'm going between Lackey and more Pierce. But I, for some oh, reason, I yeah. feel like there was a lot of Linda Howard in her past at one point. In my past, it's so like shady. Shady romance novels. Can we discuss the back of the No, let's not. Let's not. Issues. Lots and lots of issues. It's such a strange, strange synopsis. I should have grabbed a different book for that. Okay, so wait. That means it's not the book, it's the author. What? Because she said she should have grabbed a different book for that, which means it's the author. Yes. No, Christ more steppers. <laughs> so bad at not giving you guys power. But see, Linda Howard, though, I was wondering, because I knew that was one of the romance authors that I felt like you had a lot of. Rothfell. So I don't Rothfell. know if we're even right, but I... Because I just know she had a romance period in her life. That weird. <laughs> What's the next one? Okay. Book with the most sketchy romance pairings? Because then we're wrong. <laughs> I'd love to read the back. You have to base it off the cover. Yeah, then we would have been screwed. Anyway. Yes. The book that made me cry the most. Okay. No. <laughs> You're so sure. I'm so sure it's not that because if that made you cry the most, I have lots of questions. <laughs> you don't know what mood I was in when I read it. Every single time that you read it? <laughs> There's so much chat today. It's not that one. Um, I feel like I don't know much about this book, but it kind of has a somber cover. It does. Does Mercedes Lackey ever make people cry, though? Mercedes Lackey is a very depressing author. Because, <laughs> like, the horse is But dying, this isn't so the questions. mage one, though. And the mage one is the one that he's just like, I am in the pits of despair. Oh, wait, something terrible happened. Now I'm even sadder, and just kill me now. I'm gonna lay in a bowl and cry. So, okay. this one I haven't read this series, so I don't know for sure. But this one looks kind of sad. Okay, let's go for the kind of sad looking one then. Let's look at it, because I don't know anything about this one, so we both. That one is. <laughs> yes. My next one is the um, my most recent read, so the book I just most recently finished. Um, she's been on a crime kick. She said she hasn't been on a fantasy run lately. So, votes. Uh, I want to Wait, say this, this one's covered. Change of plans. 
This one. Most want to read. So book I haven't yet read yet read yet and I really want to read. Well we gotta cheat for this one. Sorry, fam. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know though. You don't know? I don't know though though, because I feel like maybe she hasn't read this one yet either. Oh. Because we know she hasn't read this one yet. But maybe she But she also it started it a month ago and then oh. never finished it. So she, there might be more anticipation for this one, she just hasn't done it yet. So I'm actually going to break from the pairing, and I am going to try God. this one. Goodbye forever, friend. I love you anyway, but I just, I feel like maybe this one isn't, because she's had that book forever, and she's been ignoring it forever. I know, but sometimes she can sit on the book for, like, multiple months and still be like, I really want to read the book that I haven't this read, even though it's sitting true. right in front of me. I this love is you. true. <laughs> you guys. Sorry, dude. Thank you. Why did you do a video with us? So the last one is my newest favorite author. Newest it's definitely not to here. So I feel like oh, we messed wow. up somewhere because we the, the up ones that are left are older. You can move them, but I won't tell you if you're correct or not until after the last close to the okay, place. So no, 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 no. <laughs> this one I feel like is correct. I feel like that one's correct. So no, possibly Heffalumps. <laughs> Could be wrong. <laughs> not <Heffalumps>. sure. <laughs> I'm kind of between this one, this one, and this one. Mm -hmm. Because those are the ones that I haven't heard her talk as much about, which means they could be like a newest, a new favorite that, that I true. just haven't caught the uh, happiness over. Because <laughs> it's got the non bound cover on like this one. And given the kick she's been on lately, it's not going to be any of those. Um, newest author. Could it be one of these two then? But newest I don't know author, what else. This one's been around for a bit because she does have a cover. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what other books she has written. That's true. I have no idea. Cheating. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to. I want to know if she wrote any more books. We want to put to the back and find out what else is in that book. See if there's another book about this author. Author of best-selling blah blah blah. Right, blah. right, right. But it, it doesn't have it. It's helpful. No idea. Oh no! I thought I was doing okay. <laughs> and I felt so confident. We're back to stage one. We are. Okay, newest favorite author. If she's had this one for a while, would it really be her newest favorite author though? Because it has to be. It has to be new, right? It's not like old new. It's new, new, like new, new. Okay, we discovered my love for this author, and now they're my new favorite again. Yeah, it's not that. It's <laughs> It's an author I found recently, as in the last two years. Two years? That's not recent. It's not recent. <laughs> well, I don't I don't have an author that I've found that I like more than that author that I'm talking about more recently. How long ago did you read this book? That was in two years, so it's more recent than two years. Okay, so that's out. Okay. It, it could be sooner than two years. I don't remember when I read everything. You have to look at my Goodreads, which you're not allowed to do, so don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> we could. We could move least favorite cover to top. We could make a strategical choice here, and where we differentiated, slap our other one on there, and then we might be right. We have two options. <laughs> chances to be right. But this could be her newest favorite author, depending on when y'all went about. Because it was... Yeah, because that one is a really good series, and I know Mary and I talked pretty heavily about so them. So, she could hate the Tomorrow Pierce covers, which I hope you this, don't. But it's this version, though, because I know before we had talked about she kind of likes the style cover, like the original covers. Oh, it. so that's the second. So it time. could just be that style, and she could just hate that size because it doesn't match her other books. You know that it's true. It doesn't <laughs> match the other. It really doesn't match the size, so that could be why she hates it because it's way bigger than every other one. <laughs> Okay, so She's what if we us move this all. least favorite cover over here and make this new favorite author? Yeah, Stance. let's go ahead and try it. Peter you know, Blood, we're not doing this solo. <laughs> right? Okay. so messed up. Okay, go No team. more things you want to change? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how many you guys have right, and then you have one more chance to change them. Okay. okay. And you I'll can pull tell off. us who's right on this one. I'm asking for myself. <laughs> I'll pull the ones also that you have right. Okay. So you don't possibly get more wrong. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. So in other words, if she doesn't pull these, we have no idea if we're actually right or not. 
really so sorry we... that you caught that on camera. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, fortunately, this one is my least favorite cover. I told you. <laughs> I absolutely hate these covers. You told me. I actually don't mind the size. Because really? I have I have the hard covers of some of her other books, so they're this tall. Uh-huh. I despise these covers. I think they're so ugly. I think they're so ugly. <laughs> have you seen the new versions of these covers? No, but I'm broke, so I can't. <laughs> I can't either. I own this one, and I already had to rebuy it because of the stupid bookshelf gremlin. Um, <laughs> For those yes. of you unaware, the bookshelf gremlin has been stealing Mary's. <laughs> Although for this one, this both, I think I lent them out to someone on accident and then I never gave them back. Oh, uh, that's the thing that happens. Okay. This book did make me cry the most. Really? What's it about? Yeah. Story time. Um, it's technically the second book in this, it's called the Wayfarer series. It's a science fiction book, mm -hmm. which I never read. Um, and it deals with this IA who gets put in like a ship IA, so they're part of the ship and they get put in this like robotic body. And it deals with a lot with um, what makes a human a human, oh. what, what makes someone deserving of rights, and also not feeling like you fit in your own skin, which I deal with a lot. So, so in other words, the cover art is accurately somber. Yes. Except for, to be fair, all the time. This is my favorite book from school. It's mm -hmm. actually the only book from school that I have right here. I think I only liked three books from school. I don't remember. There's a while there where I hated all of them. This is, of course... Thank you. My favorite cover. They're right, I did brag about it a lot, but like, come on! It's shiny. Come on! And it's got the painted edges, like... Oh, show them the back, the back of the book. Like, <laughs> see, I'm not the only one. I love the book. So <laughs> she happy. actually made me read it, I so... Am. It's my fault. <laughs> I should have told you how many you had right first. Well, so far we've got four. Yeah, four. Clearly we've got one wrong, she didn't take it off. So. Right. Most recent read is false. And I'm so sure this one's right. Right? Like, we can't be wrong on that. There's no way we're wrong on that. I will literally sell my kidney on the black market if we're wrong. <laughs> Tia has 10 right, and Jenny has 11 right. Oh! What do you know? That was right. Yeah. <laughs> this is the book that I most want to read. I have had it. Actually, I've owned it since last year. And I haven't been in a fantasy mood. <laughs> But it, it sounds so interesting, and I've heard awesome things about it. This is my longest completed series. I have a question about the creepy eye book. Is it, in fact, creepy? Yes. Which is bad for my health and my friend's health. Your extreme world looks scary, but <laughs> is amazing. This is my longest completed series. Um, there's nine books in this. No, there's seven. No, there's nine. I don't remember. It's been a while. This one is my newest favorite book. You guys should know this because I made, I'm making Tia read it and I gushed to Jenny about it. It's adorable. Five star read. You should definitely read this. It's adorable and funny. This is actually my most read author. I have read 31 of her titles. And Tomorrow Pierce only has 29. I counted. Really? Yup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I wasn't By sure. By a whole two. <laughs> Tomorrow Pierce would read it, would win if I had done and rereads, okay. which I forgot about when I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah, this has been read the most times. I'm pathetic and predictable. You are not pathetic. It's a wonderful book. I, I am pathetic. Do you know why? Because I start with this book. Oh, yeah, that's it's, awesome. it's the third book in the series, and I read this book first, and then I read the fourth book, and then I, because I can't deal with myself, I go back and I read the first and the second. This one is my one true pairing. Anyone who knows me knows this. Eric, Eric, <laughs> Alec, and Sarah Gill are the best. Eric. Eric, I don't know where that oh, came from. My Eric. <laughs> Breaking into that OTP. <laughs> Did we mention we're tired? Just throwing that back out there. OTP three. <laughs> it's a thruple. Thruple? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so, so this is what we're going to rock. Yep, those are what you have left. You only have to find two post-its. That's not bad. Okay, on the plus side, this is not the one that she most recently read because her description of it was rough. So I'm going to veto it. <laughs> I'm going to say we just have them backwards. Yeah, that's probably true. That, that would be my guess. We yeah, because she backwards. said she wants to read more of them and this is only the first one in the series. 
Mm-hmm. And these were not newest favorite authors. So they, there's nothing new about these, so I'm gonna say we just got them backwards. Yeah, let's try it. God. Take apart my words. Just logic. Yes. <laughs> yes. They were backwards. <laughs> This is my newest favorite author. I read six of his 13. Tia, you need to read these. These are better than the Cotton Run series. Sorry, strong I'm... words. Strong words. I'm not sure I'm going to believe you until I read it, though. Well, here. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> We're about to have to down at the table, ladies and gentlemen. And this is my most recent read because I reread the entire series because I have not been in the mood to read anything, so I've been rereading everything this month. So they actually did really good. Better than I was expecting, because I really... Better than I was expecting. I was like, this is going to go bad, we're going to (laughs) die. I was going to say, I really threw you guys some curveballs, and I added three books. Which is rude. You added Mercedes Lackey, which is rude. I haven't actually read that many Mercedes Lackey. This is my East Friends. They know my reading better than I thought they would, to be honest. Because I've been pretty bad about keeping them up to date. Especially since we didn't know, like, three of them. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. But we knew most of the others, though. We got OTP in five seconds or less. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys for stopping in and seeing my best friends. Hopefully, you will see them again eventually when we get together and I can calm them into doing a video with me and torturing themselves because it's so entertaining. <laughs> She's going to break our brains. Right? Yeah. That's concerning. That's okay. I'm, I'm planning to break mine too eventually. So we could do like a bad old classic, like like mainstream books. Oh, that could be fun. You know, no, like Twilight. Oh, <laughs> the second oh, one. Oh yeah, with her response to everything. She, she's she's like, like, I am not a human. I'm gonna cry in my room. I'm months. gonna go throw myself off the bridge so I can hear his voice talk to me. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. totally normal. Mm-hmm. I'm like hundred percent healthy. Whoa. Strong opinions. Maybe we'll just do a discussion video where we talk about Twilight. Or unhealthy young adult novels in general. Yes! Yes! Okay, that's what we're going to do because I love that topic and I have very strong opinions. Um, but Good luck in the future, friends. Please tell me how you guys think you did or how you thought my friends would do if you thought they would do worse or better than they did. Or how they could do better besides 100%, I don't know. Um, and until the next video... Ta-ta for now.